Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here. It's 2022. Wait, no, no, it's 2023 now, and with this, a new year comes a new roadmap for Vigor's update cycle. Just like this time last year, the devs have released a short video and article hinting at what new features and content will be coming with this year. And in today's video, I will review this article and just what's going on in it. So with no more delay, let's get right into this. Starting off, we got information regarding the number of updates. Last year, we got three seasons of 75 tiers, but this year it will be back to the classic four seasons with 50 tiers. This is a clear reflection of the community polling that was done last year, showcasing that players would rather have the shorter, smaller seasons than the longer, larger ones we got last year. I also personally agree with this change because it honestly felt like last year that there were large content and really just boring gaps as there was too much space between updates. These four updates will seemingly be a continuation of the Chronicles framework, with Zora stating that they will tell the story of various groups throughout the Outland. However, the method by which these stories will be told in each season has not been really confirmed, as it's pretty much definitely been confirmed that it's not going to be exclusively cassettes, as it was expressed that not every season will come with new cassettes. But they did confirm at least one or two seasons will have them at minimum. I am very happy that cassettes are going to be returning at all, seeing as the last we heard, it really seemed like they were going to be gone from future updates forever. Last year was a year focused on new players, making the onboarding smoother, the tutorial better, and helping new players not just get destroyed immediately upon starting. However, the devs have confirmed that this will not be the case in this new year. Rather, the new focus will be on veteran players and the endgame experience, something we've been waiting for for quite a long time. One such focus on the veterans will be a leaderboard overhaul sometime during the next year. The nature of this change is currently not known, however it could be implementation of more trackers or seasonal leaderboards that reset occasionally, making it so the top tiers actually see some movement and competition for people to grind for. Next, they have also confirmed a new upcoming shelter upgrade. This upgrade will replace the legacy seasons, which will be getting removed. This new upgrade will give previously available plans via upgrading the shelter improvement, and upon its release, all previous legacy seasons will be removed. They have stated that they have other ideas for the future in the vein of shelter upgrades, hinting perhaps even at a multiple loadout option or upgrade, but it is very much part of the endgame experience that there will be more shelter upgrades. Aside from upgrades, they hinted that encounters will be getting a change in this vein to give it a more of an endgame experience for players to play around with. Next year, there will also be a change regarding updates. Instead of minor updates having large amounts of content, they will now just be hotfix updates, which will be accompanied by in-game events. He also stated that they are working on a fix for the AFK player problem with a solution hopefully down the line. In major news, they hinted that a new map will be arriving this year. They didn't say anything else in this regard, like what the map will look like or when it will arrive, but that is very important news. In lieu with that, they reaffirmed from prior dev notes that this year will continue with the weapon overhauls. Using the phrasing and understanding the context in the video, it sounds like the overhaul will be larger and perhaps a more generalized view on an overhaul rather than the current chain of overhauls that have been smaller and focused on individual weapons, but we're going to have to wait to see if that's the case. Before we finish, there is one piece of concept art they showed. In much like in 2022, this art seems to be a hint of future concept. First, we have a season with a very Fallout Raider-esque helmet. This likely will be a season focused around rugged scavengers and raider-type cosmetics. In the lore, there is no major raider factions, so this is a welcome idea. However, we've had similar seasons in the past, so I'm not entirely sure that we're going to be getting some lore explanation. It might just be more cosmetics. Next, a season with a safety helmet and a police helmet. Likely season based around localized government services, perhaps a faction of localized resistance fighters made up of firemen, cops, and whatever other forces a town could organize. We've had a season like this in the past as well. I think it was season four or five. And I would like to see some lore attached to it, and hopefully we get exactly that. Next, we have a season with the M16, a gas mask, and a bag. This could be a continuation of the ARC story, seeing as the American rifle was likely used by the NATO remnants. However, the gas mask is very Soviet in design, so we're going to have to see when this comes out. Next, and finally, we have a season where there's a lot of blood and a mask. This could be another Raider-type season to close out the year the way it started, but we're really just going to have to wait and see what each of these seasons will look like and what forms they will take. So with that, we can conclude today's video. This news is interesting and provides us something to look forward to going into this new year. I'm curious what will happen in Vigor 2023, but whatever happens, I'm here for it. So until next time, this has been Christopher Beast.